Do you do costume role play? Oh shit, Nate's gonna kill me. Like, teacher, for, for teacher. example, um, I'm the landlord and then like she's a tenant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Happy end of 2022! Yay! <laughs> so there are quite a few pieces of news that we didn't manage to cover this year as well as quite a few memorable ones that we did and we are gonna run through them in this episode. This is your Daily Catch-Up. <laughs> Party. Sorry. It is quite tight. Oh my god, this lights up, guys. Yeah. What? The hey. lights. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time in TDK history, we put effort into the set. Yay! <laughs> so as we all know, it's the end of the year once again. Life has passed us by once Damn. again. Really damn fast, yeah. 2022. 2023. That's what your girlfriend say. Oh, okay, she does though. <laughs> yeah, so we are gonna look back at the year to see like what are some of like the biggest things that have happened or the most memorable news pieces like yeah. to each of us. Especially after COVID, you you feel like the last few years are all mixed up together. It feels it's like COVID is last year, for example. Mm. Yes, yeah. No, but that's because we opened up this year. We did. And as a year-end surprise, we'll be doing a giveaway. Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so, Beep. somewhere in this episode, we are going to share what this giveaway is about and you can find details of how to win. Worth Stay it, Stay tuned. Worth it. Stay Promise. tuned. Okay, on to today's episode! Oh, oh, oh. I went to JB for the first time this year. Oh. Wow. 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 Like, ever. Yeah, ever. <laughs> but you never been to any other part of Malaysia, you know? <laughs> I've been to Genting. How this is my first time going to Malaysia. How was it? Oh my god. You know, right? The <laughs> lift buttons are so confusing. Yes. Like when I go in and then after that it's G. Yeah. Then, oh, yes. uh, but then like, ah. like G is like not one. No, and no. Then, so there's LG, there's G, then there's UG. And then sometimes there's S. Yes. For second. But <laughs> oh. G just means that it's ground floor. So that when you walk outside of the door, it's the ground level. Right. 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 So because not always, like sometimes the buildings, right? If it's on a slope, your first level and your ground level is not the same. Right. So G is the easiest way. It's from the UK actually. But Shout out to our uh, Malaysian viewers. Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 hey. Thumbs so up. OG is lower ground. OG is upper ground. The OG is you. Because <laughs> you OG YouTuber. Wow. 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 This guy. Hey. Wait, no, try for us. Join us then. You know what it is. Try to be funny. Yeah. Yeah. Watch oh, my shit. life as I slowly become irrelevant. <laughs> someone what hashtag uh, Johnny's. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Johnny's. Johnny. Yeah, what? Someone hashtag Johnny's. John the, your love, your Isn't love. Isn't there a sickness, a skin problem? John Dees. That's John Dees lah. Yeah, when you're extra yellow. <laughs> Why don't you oh, try shit. to have a brain? Extra Pe yellow, you're careful. We're all Chinese here. Happy New Year, happy vibes <laughs> only. Yeah. I should mention about the opening up though, that is quite crazy. Okay, even though this article is quite recent, right? Between the 16th to 18th of December, <laughs> because of school holidays, right? And that everything is opened up. Do you know that over a million travelers crossed the border between this that weekend? weekend? Last weekend, huh? 16th to 18th December. Did you see the TikTok video where it was like, people were so crammed at the, the checkpoint. Yeah, the, the escalator. escalator. Then they're like squeezing and screaming. And it's shouting. really like, Almost like a semi-mini crop crush. It's, wow. it's crazy. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Negative news. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no negativity. So Negative sorry. Try one, guys. Wait, this year was also when the Causeway woman fight with a car, right? Yeah. 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 The yeah. The they were quite epic. Uh. Why wow, it's crazy. The, the, the strength that she had to like whip out that, that number play was quite interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the action. Oh, on a like side note, right? You know, I was looking at like car plates in Singapore. Guess how much the car plate 4444 sells for? 4,444 4, dollars. <laughs> 4 million. No, no, no. 3,000. 444,000. Whoa! Crazy, yeah. Car plate one is like not so expensive. One dollar lah. 130,000. No, I, I always thought that four is like for Chinese, right, it's like a negative thing because it's like die, 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 die. Yeah. yeah, but if I'm not in Cantonese, then it's a good thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But nobody buy it. Nobody can afford this. <laughs> it's like buying three cars at this car plate. Hey, but do you know that the number plates in Singapore, they are meant to like equate to a special number. You cannot just simply pick any number. What? So there's a special, like you know how like how ICs also need to be a certain equation? Number yes. plates are the exact same way. IC is not an equation. Or like, they, they need Credit to be card like number a, is an equation. Huh? Mm. No, no, but even your IC number, like uh, the letter, for example, the letter has to correspond to the numbers before right. it. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember someone on Reddit was sharing like, hey, this 
number plate does not uh does not comply to like the the equation. Then it turns out that it was a pre-colonial or oh, it was like colonial time number plate. Interesting. Oh. There are so many nerds in Singapore. Really. <laughs> Speaking of nerds, <laughs> there's been one uncle nerd that has gone viral. <laughs> Oh, I still don't know how to dance and dance and <laughs> what? As I just a dancer, you should be ashamed. I didn't know the start is this. Uh-huh. You think he comes up with the choreography himself? Yes, he yes. did. Yo, you mean Uncle Raymond started this year? Yeah. Huh? I thought he got famous during the pandemic. No, no, he started dancing during the pandemic, but he blew up this year. Yeah, yeah. people started looking for him. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like this year. They will text him and like, hey, Uncle Raymond, where? Come exactly. to Clementi. Then he will come. He'll say, okay, tomorrow 4 p.m. Yeah, so we tried to contact him. him for a video, right? But there's no way to contact him. The only way to find him is follow his, <laughs> like, where he's gonna be next. Then we must go down there to meet him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's like kind of popped off in like February, March timing. And then he has danced at quite a few, like, like schools, all this. Then like, uh, like Shopee, all this got invited him to go and yes, dance there. Yeah. So. Good for you, Uncle Raymond. Yeah, well done. No, and then he tried to... Uh, now he has rebranded. Yeah, no, he, he rebranded. He relaunched a new dance, right? How did that go? Uh? The, he has a new... Someone told him Someone told him that this would die down. You need to refresh yourself. <laughs> that was how he died down. Uh. You think that brand managers actually contact him like, and say, can we represent, represent. you? I feel like yes. Right. No, but don't you think, right? Like, I cannot tell whether like Uncle Raymond's new style is like a genius marketing move or he's a Stephen Lim. <laughs> Wait, what's his new style? I don't get it. I don't follow are you, him. Are you referring to his new community? <laughs> his, the, his the new League content. of Ordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> the blue shirt last warning according to the comments. Like, <laughs> Wait, yeah. he has a groupie now. Wait, can context? I really never see the yeah. Yeah. No, it's like he has a group of groupies that follow him. Oh. I think because they really love him, so they will follow him like, like everywhere what's their they demographic? Do. So basically, each of them has started to become a character in his videos. And then they are they are kind of like doing their own yeah, dance like or something. Yeah, they, they think like, oh, blue shit guy. Yeah. So, so yeah. the Uncle Raymond dance is now a group dance. Oh. I mean, he has always been a group dance, yeah, but yeah. He, he could solo. Uh, they're all doing the same thing, right? But yeah. now there's a bug. Yeah, then Uncle Raymond feel like a side character now in his right. own oh. content. But it's an expansion of his universe, lah. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yes. But the funniest comment I saw is someone go comment like, just stick to Bee Cha Chunky, bro. Oh, dude. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. But see, they are right, though. Every expansion always got this kind of haters, one. I feel like this is so similar to, you know, Liver King Kana Cancer? You know who is Liver King, right? Yeah. Like a very big character on, on, on YouTube. So he basically advocates that you have to live like a caveman, eat like testicles, eat mm. like raw meat, all this kind of thing. Yeah. Then, then like live in the wild, like he sleep on hay, all this kind of shit. Lah. But he also sells his own supplements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he created his own character. He built this whole world and then he became very, very viral on YouTube, right? Advocating for this lifestyle. But then he cannot expose for taking steroids. Then a lot of people copy Kabu. But to be honest, right, it's like he is a character to begin with. Right? It's very genius marketing. So a lot of people argue that even though he has been exposed, this actually helped him. Mm. He yeah. broadened his story now of yeah. who is he really. Mm. Yeah. So that's why like even when this Raymond guy also, whether it's genius marketing or whatever, right, it's still, you know, yeah. It would be very cool if it was. I think when you look at the spectrum of like that kind of thing, right? It's like, are you a <laughs> Stephen Lim or are you a Kurt Tay? And I think there's a broad spectrum in between. I see you're slowly dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> because like, have you seen the latest podcast with like Stephen Lim and Kurt Tay? No, they started no. their own podcast. Oh, I thought I thought Kurt Tay was a guest on Stephen Lim's podcast. Oh, that's Stephen Lim's podcast. I believe so. But but whatever the, the actual like arrangement, right? It's very clear that from the way how Stephen Lim talks, right? He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's yeah, playing yeah. a character. Because mm, yeah. his questions are all very like smart one. Basically, he's he's like asking like actually what's the what's the strategy? Or is it like, you know, like when the way he introduced himself also, you can tell actually he's a normal person in there. Right. <laughs> but I feel Somewhere. like with, with Tate, the delusion is a little bit real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and this year introduced us to Andrew Tate. It did. Oh which... wow, do we really want to be introduced to him? <laughs> hey, to be honest, I find him a super interesting person, eh? I can't tell where his accent is from. Even though they say UK, right? It's so muddled up. And for some reason... Uh, the thi- Romania, I think. Oh, really? From, oh. Yeah. So like the TikTok and Reels that I get from him, right? For some reason, it's always him on the top half. And it, at the bottom, right? It's a video game of a car. It's always that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I don't know no, why, and I, but... I feel like there's this hacking to it, right? Yeah. Like They are catering to the ADHD-ness of people. Especially when you look at the Reddit stories that happens on TikTok. They can't just tell you the story. And these stories are so good, eh, my God. Mm-hmm. But it's not enough. They must play a very complex game. Then yeah. sometimes I'm watching them replay a game, right? Until I forgot the plot, I rewind. Yeah. Because yeah. every replay or so, right, adds to their algorithm score. 
It's damn smart. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that Andrew Tate is back on Twitter, by the way? Yes. Yes. But he's almost banned like still everywhere else. I mean, I saw his I saw his thing. So basically, he's saying that the Matrix conspired to cancel him. You'll hear about this one. Let's hear it. No. No. Is it the, act, the movie Matrix? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> the, the concept so of the Matrix. He, he's saying that many times when people get cancelled, right? It usually is a growing movement. Then you get cancelled at some point. He acknowledged that he says certain things will piss people off, right? Mm-hmm. But he also knowing that he's exaggerating some form of character because that's his internet personality and he knows that. And he acknowledges that there will be people that will be offended. But when the day he got cancelled, right? He said he woke up and 125 media brands across the world use the same few lines mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and immediately assassinated his character and then he started with Meta that, that removed all his accounts and then the rest followed. Yeah, he said all the emails all came in around the same time that like you've been banned, you've been banned, you've been banned and all the inquiries also yeah. all came in the same. And so someone asked him this question, right? So like, do you feel regret or like for some of the things you said that got you cancelled? And he said the feeling is not regret uh, and I'm paraphrasing here mm. and, and it's not fear and whatnot but it's more like shack that, that he knows how the matrix works. <laughs> this is his conspiracy, <laughs> right? <laughs> and he said, first they try and cancel you and if they cannot cancel you, they kill you. And he say, I already have one strike. Oh shit, yeah. that's so scary. Yeah, and, and, and th- that's what he's trying to get out of there and saying, and that's why he's saying the fact that he's uncancelable puts him on a list that he might be killed. Hey, happy New Year. Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That is really what a bummer of a story. So yeah. is he Neo? Okay. He would like to think so. Can I just say, I, I watched the Matrix too young, I think. I cannot follow, I don't understand. I didn't really watch the story watch of again. Jesus. I didn't. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that means the cancellation, is the first death. Then his next one is his crucifixion already. Lo. No, his first death was the crucifixion, but it's okay lah. Huh? Yeah. I thought then Jesus died one time then... Oh, he, no, after first death crucified, is the cancellation. then he put the stone, is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Very long every Bible. <laughs> speaking, of, uh, <laughs> speaking of Twitter, Elon Musk bought Twitter. If I'm not wrong, he unbanned Trump and yeah. after he realised why Trump was banned and then now Trump is banned again. No, so so what's quite interesting, <laughs> oh, no, right? really? I think so. I what, think what quite, so. What's, what's quite interesting is that because he's a proponent of free speech and yeah. like, make that what you will, right? Yeah. Like, to the <laughs> left, it's that you are unsilencing those that need to be silenced. Mm-hmm. Mm. But to him, it's like, no, everyone deserves the right to tweet. It's just that if you say anything hateful, it will be hard to find. Mm. But you can still find it if you really search for it, which to him is exactly how the internet works. Right. Yeah. yeah. But to a lot of the left, they say, no, no, this shouldn't even be publicized no matter what. So what he found out, and he's been exposing a whole bunch of like Twitter files, right? Is that the US government has been paying Twitter to censor specific people. <gasps> yeah. And then they've been Wait, like- both sides of the government. Actually, are we surprised? Um, actually, I'm not sure which government. Right. But basically, uh, someone was boasting within Twitter that the FBI had just paid us a total of $3 million as of 2019. And then like saying, this is great revenue and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. So you know, all of these files have been exposed I think internally they showed that specific influencers were being silenced for no for no reason except that they disagreed with them like the Twitter right. stuff at that point of time so mm. they've been exposing a lot of this and none of this has been covered on yes, mainstream yeah, I never news. even hear about this yeah it's only found on Twitter unfortunately oh. uh, so there was a, this like new survey apparently that was done that um, 75% of people in the US think that there's a uh, less than a million illegals that entered US last year and then when they found out there was more than 2.75 million right 67 of them actually wanted stricter uh, immigration laws mm-hmm. again something like this not covered in the news so mm-hmm. there's all this new stuff that's all coming out that he's saying lah, like this is what Twitter is useful for but mainstream news seems to just be attacking him right. it's crazy it's, it's crazy con- it's all a game it really is all just a game what's quite good also so is that I know that's not much conversation points there, right? But he's also being super open about the major decisions he's making on Twitter. So like, mm. firstly, uh, when he banned the guy that was tracking his jet, right? He asked everyone, should I unsuspend him? And then everyone said, unsuspend him. So he said, okay, I'll find out, unsuspend. After that, he asked, should I step down as Twitter CEO? And 57% of people said yes. And so he said, okay, I'm going to step down if I can, if I can find a replacement. Wow. Right. Yeah. It's really a game. Uh. Pretty much. I I have he, a- he's such a refreshing person. <laughs> very refreshing. Yeah, like he's just like, oh, he's like, oh, like when he, he came out with the verification mark and everybody needs to pay to get verified. Yeah. Uh. And then he's like, oh, why you want to do this? You're just trying to cash grab. Then he's like, yeah, we need to pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's like you know then he makes you feel like hey, you know, correct, like, we've been using this for free for so long already right? <laughs> do you all know one of the first uh, Twitter verification abuse right was that this company that owned the rights to produce insulin do you all know huh? no. so insulin by right was a free like if I'm not wrong like, the person that created it right wanted it to be free and what not might have been polio medicine vaccine uh, no it's, it's insulin they call it a miracle drug because there was a time where 
people cannot figure out why all the children with diabetes are just lying in bed, right? Then someone tested insulin on in a room full of children that were just lying in bed and they haven't moved for days. And then all of the kids started waking up within 20 minutes. Oh. So that's a really cool story of insulin, by the way. Wow. And so that creator, I think, wanted, wanted to make sure, like gave it free to company to produce. The company that then owns the right to produce charged a lot of money for essential drug. Mm. Um, right. And so when Twitter verification can be bought, right? Uh, what people did was they bought a blue tick for that company. Wow, this is really the set is really falling apart. <laughs> Every time you got a set story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything negative, right? Yeah. So so but then people two people big bought boobs. created a fake account, bought the blue tick, and then after that, told people that insulin is now free. Or it's like the price wow. of Yeah, and then the company's price crash. Oh price shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Whose fault is it though? Like, that, like that, that people don't fact check. Like, is this not, can, it cannot be helped, is it? Like the motivations for everybody is actually not bad. You think about the insulin company, they are trying to earn money for their shareholders. Mm. But at what cost? I mean, clearly people are still buying it, lor. So it's a demise of fighting. No, but there are so many people that cannot afford it though. And then they have to go to Mexico to like smuggle True. it. Government <laughs> services law, I guess. But we look at water, for example. Yeah. Also very, very much essential. Or plants. And kept cheap for example, and you see people just waste water. Can you imagine holding a patent for water? <laughs> <laughs> damn. See? It's damn scary. The other day, right, at my house, right, I don't know for some reason the water need to kind of cut off for like a, an hour or what, right? Yeah. Then they wash I, the water I forgot. Them. So that I was showering halfway, then the water just like suddenly like weaken. Oh. Then it just completely stopped, right? Then uh. I stand down there and I think to myself like, wow, water sea bait is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I really need it. Then I look at the toilet bowl, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think to myself, I can splash, splash a bit, and I just steal a bit, a bit of soap. Never lah. Then I just wipe, wipe, just wipe, wipe, yeah, wipe the soap off. The toilet bowl still mm. got a bit, what? <laughs> no, the, the same thing happened to me. Like, I think I was literally just about to turn on a shower and then nothing happened, right? And I needed to go to work already. I was late. So I, on um, Grab Mart, I went and ordered uh, four bottles of 1.5 liter water to bathe. Yeah, and I just showered with it because there were, I had no other collection of water. Oh. We, we are very privileged as a people, lah. Like, yeah, you know because I'm scared of the water cooler. <laughs> I'm scared of the water cooler upstairs, right? I believe it's toilet water. But then then for the longest time was trying to explain to me. So this is our toilet, right? And then there's a, I mean, there's a wall here. Like, I need to walk this way to go to the toilet. And then there's a water cooler right here. So it's like kind of, it's really directly connected to the toilet bowl. And then, <laughs> and I already, like I only drink boiled water kind. Right. Privilege acknowledged. But anyway, I buy like bottles of water like daily, right? So one day, Dan really cannot take it all. And then after that, he said, Denise, do you have five minutes? Mm. Then I say, okay. Then he bring me to the toilet, right? Then he, <laughs> this story can go to <laughs> <ways. laughs> With other people as well. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he bring me to the toilet. Then after that, other people also curious. And then they all like, got like, I think two, three people, they all started like joining. And then it was like a five minute class of how the pipes work in the toilet. Yeah. So did he break the myth? Yeah. It's like, basically it goes through, like there's a separate pipe that goes through and it doesn't mix with the toilet water. Then at the ah. end of the tour, right, then everybody go one cup, you can drink the <laughs> toilet water. This is the you know, like, this tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I realised that when I, when, because I do my own plumbing and it's only because I learnt it in school. I was from Malaysia, we learnt it as like basic life skills. Oh, oh, yeah. You yeah. can yeah. fix it. Yeah. He can. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you help me fix? Can. I love plumbing. You're, you're I also love plumbing. <laughs> That's not plumbing. <laughs> uh, no, like conden. Oh, okay. The condenser. Yeah. It's a little bit difficult. I would rather pay someone. Oh, okay. Cause yeah. But anyway, right? No, because a lot of people misunderstand. So like, I've got other friends also who keep thinking that the toilet bowl water is connected. Like so, the the tank that used to flush is water that has been used before already. Uh, Whereas no, it doesn't. It's the it's the same inlet that comes in that goes to your kitchen also. So uh, anything you use to wash your pots and pans is that same inlet that goes to your whole house. So uh, it's fine. So do you do all the plumbing for your home? Only the simple one. So like if it's to do with flushing or like showers, the cleaner side of things, the cleaner side of the toilet, I will do it. But if it's the sewer side of the toilet, I wouldn't touch it. Right. right. So you already know my next question. Lah, right. Okay, let's go. So no. you got role play, <laughs> plumbing role play. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do I you just, role play? Hey, hey, hey. I, just oh, yeah. I just want to say that I just bought a jumpsuit, right? <laughs> that really makes me look like a like a workshop. Oh, like you know, what was the intent? <laughs> well, so my toilet story really could have gone two ways, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the Mavic one, ah. No, no, no. I have another one. So it's like a, it's dickies, but like it's it's like um second hand one. So there's a bit of like oil stains. <laughs> a bit. No, we don't oh, care. Wow. Okay. So do do you do costume role play? I don't yet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wait, don't lie. We, we never did plumbing role play. Like you walk out of the toilet and you fling the thing on your shoulder. Like, I'm we've, ready we've to never plumb done, you or something. We've never done costume role play, but we've done like 
other role play lah. Like, like what? what? I'm John so from the Delicate Chat. What, what, what is your profession? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit, Nate's gonna kill me. Like, teacher, for, for teacher. example, um, I'm the landlord, and then, like, she's the tenant. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then, like, oh, this man cannot pay rent. No, no, no. you go from there, and then you proceed to f yeah, you. Yeah, like, <laughs> Just cause you're abusive. No, 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 like, do you accept any other forms of abuse? Like, can I pay in any other way? Then your religious gay on, ah, y'all don't burst out laughing and shit, lah. A bit, lah. Sorry, do you plan? How do you plan the storyline beforehand? Like, so I'm gonna knock and then you're gonna open. Yeah, where does it begin? Oh, I think freestyle one. Then he's a storyteller, guys. Like you have to skip a few parts, lah, because you have to. I mean, like sign the receipt on only. That one don't need. That one don't need. You're also lazy, so you're already both in bed to begin with. So then, what you do is that you just create the backstory, and then how did we get here? Right. Right. Then, so, you, then you go. So how does it end? But like after you finish, do you end the story? Like no I accept this payment. Halfway through you lose character already. Yeah. Oh. There's, only, there's only one way this ends. This there's no way that halfway yeah. through you're still like, so next month you can still pay or not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I come back next month this date. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so is there like action? Let's start. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the, you got action. the. Action. <laughs> Scene one, then he came set, then he will clap. Then he will clap. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout outs for the honesty. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. It was not Donald Trump, but it was Kanye. Mm, but Kanye, right. uh, but Trump is also like, even though he's been unbanned, he's not back on Twitter. No, Trump has his own social media platform now called Truth Social or something like that. Like, is it he created it or he's popular there now? I think I think he was part of the creation of it because he was banned on Twitter. Oh. Is that the one Kanye is on? Oh, I don't know if Kanye's on Wait, that. Wait, so all the cancel people just go to there. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah. and what Trump did was that he launched an NFT on truth.social or whatever the website is. I don't use it, la, I mean, it's up to you. And he made like millions of dollars because he sold out damn fast. Right. And oh. this is like after the NFT wave already. And this is also the same guy that says uh, the whole crypto is just <laughs> garbage money. Is in he magic. did. Yeah. He did say that. Ooh. This year, crypto, crypto really the last mornings, yeah. <laughs> There was, there was Luna earlier in the year, then there was the Holder Knot, and then there was Luna the feels so long ago. Uh. Yeah, I think it was May. No. Wait, does it, <laughs> does it all involve like Singapore? Why does it involve Singapore? Uh, Holder hold Knot Singapore. There's, Luna had a lot of Singapore investors. And the founder based himself yeah. here. And then FTX, right? Because Singapore banned Binance, a lot of people ended up using FTX. Also, uh, Tomasi invested in FTX. That too. Also, Three Arrows Capital is in Singapore. Wait, Tomas, right? they, they banned... Or they ban Binance. Sorry. Wait, for the people who have, don't have any context, can you maybe explain what happened with FTX? FTX is a is a crypto exchange. So when you put money on the platform, right, they have to store it as collateral, because in case you want to exit, right? But through some weird dodgy stuff, a lot of their collaterals is in their native token as opposed to cash. Mm. And their native token is FTT. Mm. Yeah. Which has zero volume, which means if they want to sell and change it to cash, right, the price will crash because like, FTT has no other purpose than to get lower fees from FTX. So it, nobody trades FTT. Yeah. And so I think CZ from Binance, the, the CEO of Binance, realized that low key tweeted that they're going to let go of their FTT holdings because they invested in uh, FTX back then. And then that started the whole spy of everybody's trying to withdraw their money out of FTX. And FTX don't have the money to pay everybody back. Mm. Run on the bank. Oh, gosh. I heard yeah. that it was a strategic move by that guy. Sam. Yes. So, oh, no, CZ. 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 Mm. It does feel that way. That's quite this smart not though. the first That's time he's done it to his competitor. Mm. And apparently it was because he was... FTX was trying to do something with them, right? And then after that, then I think CZ took a look at their... I don't oh. know what you call it, like their accounts and everything. Uh, right? No, I mean, when, when the bank run started happening, then FTX... CEO approached Binance to say, can you buy us out mm, of this? Yeah. yeah, and and so CZ tweeted out as a big league energy to say FTX has come to us. We are considering a sale, but nothing is confirmed. And then mm. when he got to do his due diligence. Exposed the book, say how f***ed up it is and say, oh, we were not going to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh. the real crash started. Crazy. Savage. Yeah. It, does sound, savage. Like a, it yeah. does sound like a him job. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. last, as of today, last week or two weeks ago, similar thing happened with Binance. Hmm. And there was a bank run on Binance, but what? Binance survived it. So Ooh. they really have the collateral. Oh. No, but so I feel scary. like it might have been after FTX, right? Then they on the back end, they faster. Bum, yeah. Bum, yeah. Bum, bum. Because yeah. I would say that like after such a big exchange falls, right? Because to me, it sounded like crypto.com and FTX were kind of like the two biggest. Ma. Yeah. Then 
when one falls, clearly people will like migrate to another one or they completely give up on crypto in general. So yeah. they need to back themselves up. No, because unlike the stock market, there is <laughs> options to not use an exchange. Right. Yeah, you can don't deal with an exchange and keep the money in your wallet and still be able to trade it without being on an exchange. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Speaking of December, the World Cup happened. <laughs> yeah, Argentina. Argentina. Oh. Yeah. I'm so happy they won. I huh? lost all my World Cup bets. Oh, shit. I lost all except my Argentina bet. It was that funny because like at the beginning of this, right, Denise messaged me. Actually, I totally not into the World Cup. <laughs> then Denise suddenly messaged and asked like, hey, John Paul, what, what, what would you predict will, will win this yeah. match? Brazil versus Croatia, who you think will win? I go and bet the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> They're then, a bit triggered, but say, then I invested. <laughs> he said Brazil. Right. Guess wow. who win? Croatia. <laughs> 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 the only other match I watched was the finals. Yeah. Then my yeah. friend came over. Then <laughs> my friend, right? He think everything rigs. Yeah. I then, agree. Then really the result is the is the one that least people would bet on, right? No. Oh. And then yeah. the whole conspiracy is really the I mean at the end of the day, right? FIFA is not really about sports. It's about money. Yeah. Right? And the most money to be made is in the betting, ma. So then, wow, if they draw and the least people bet there, then what happens is that they can keep extending the match, which means that they can take in more bets and more bets and more bets and more bets, right? Wow, then after he keeps but saying, uh, he's calling out everything there, yeah, I keep feeling like, yeah. wow, damn rich. Yeah. No, not, not them, but they can pay. Oh. Yeah. So they earn to rig the match lah. But the amount of people that need to be involved <laughs> in this conspiracy. conspiracy that need to keep their mouth shut though. Yeah, too many. Because no, anybody no who open blood their blood. mouth will get killed. No, I, I think it's as simple as maybe you put some money in the referee's pocket. No, that, that I was actually thinking whether the ref can or not. But right, I think the ref is too small a player for him to yeah. go and do something so like that. I, because no, right, I, I believe like, especially in this kind of level, right, you cannot ring until, oh, I want to one Croatia. Like, cannot one. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like it's it more to of, be final do outcome. you have the referee in your pocket? Do you have the linesman in your pocket? Do you have the other person's keeper in your pocket then you optimize it and that's about it because mm. it's too insane to attempt to buy a team you're like your secret will go out yeah, yeah, yeah as yeah. opposed to you just keep buying the same three characters I, I think it's quite difficult and my theory is is because right so like we we all know based on a lot of evidence and reports <laughs> that come out that fifa is there's some <laughs> level of corruption there allegedly yeah right? especially in how you get to host fifa correct and i think if you watch oh. the the netflix documentary fifa uncovered they showed how like a lot of the voting members were paid off to vote for qatar to, oh. to host the world cup and when that happened right and when Seth blatter who is like the king of like alleged corruption he was upset that all his like ex-co members all voted for qatar because he knew that shit, this is when people are really going to investigate us oh. right. and so if he knows how to keep it very, very like quiet and under the table, right? Something like that is too obvious of a corruption already yeah. to like pay for outcomes. Because to him, it's like, I will try and keep as much money as possible, but you keep some things pure because it has to be entertainment. Yeah. Mm. And and I feel like he wouldn't touch that. Honestly, this World Cup was really entertaining because of how the, all the underdogs, they keep winning, yeah. right? Japan has won so much people, so much money. Morocco as well. <laughs> people didn't expect Morocco to get out of the group stage and they made it that like they were fourth. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But it's so interesting because like, I mean, the VAR decision in the very first match, which is Argentina, Saudi Arabia, right? <laughs> got, it was quite controversial because Saudi won and then mm. like there were uh, quite a few offside goals that Argentina actually scored. So like they released like the image where they were like, they will draw the line then they built like a wall then they will cut off right to show that, oh you see because like his like sleeve right is like a beyond the line so it's offside that kind. Right. Then people were questioned like, like can I really score like that? So essentially the rule is that like any part that's what covered by your shirt I think is counted. Basically, any, right. any part of your body that you can score, which is yeah. basically here and above. Yeah. Like your sleeve line and above. Because below is handball. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So then they count yeah, it as a goal. Can... This links me to like, when I watched a TikTok, uh, I was just scrolling. And then there was just this account that was showing like, what are some weird parts of the body that like famous soccer players have scored with. So for <laughs> example, like the hand of God, that kind, right? Yeah. Then Ronaldo, right? You want to guess what he scored with? Wow, time flies when we're enjoying ourselves. We're like midway through the episode. Comment down below if there's anything that we haven't mentioned so far and you feel is big news this year. And also, if you're wondering, where's the giveaway news? Uh, stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, Back to it. the episode. He's bad. dick. He's dick. He's huh? dick. <laughs> <laughs> like the I ball. mean, I'm sure he's causing with dick quite a lot. Like. <laughs> 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 yeah, so the ball comes to him, then he just twists his waist like that, right? Then he go in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he twists his waist and he slaps the thing. Uh, yeah. Not pain, with man. his dick. 
with As the crotch in, area the crotch. La. You can't oh, see the balls. Like, it's like, it's like, like, it's like, it's like, like <laughs> Why not pain? Why he never like? Ah. He probably did like. He really not, no. He no reaction. No no. He's, he probably like really the adrenaline of the goal. Yeah. Oh. I think fifty. As in he, he, your dick can take on more pressure than your balls. How yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I think it hit the cervix like at like a certain speed. Yeah, many times. <laughs> I feel like football fans have something that I want in life, like to be that passionate Books? about oh. something. Okay. <laughs> you know, like uh, wow, they cry. <laughs> yeah. uh, they look like I mean, I would look like that if let's say I sold my house and I bet on the team, then we win. Then you can see me cry, or we lose, then you can see me cry. <laughs> but someone they invest like, so much money to actually be there, so because uh, they're playing for. Uh, I bet most of them are not betting anything. Apparently, the flats. Yeah. They sure bet. Really. Sure you put like $10,000 to go and watch FIFA. They got no more money in it. You put a bit to make sure you can cover all back. Maybe lah. But apparently, the flights from Buenos Aires to Qatar is so rubber. They had to connect like four different flights just to get to Doha. Right. Right. And it's like, it's crazy. Yeah, all the hotel is so insane how the West try and... <laughs> yeah. F*** Qatar. Yeah, no. So that was the most annoying part because, okay, huh? sure, there were... okay. Again, Qatar is not like guilty free from like all of this, yeah. right? But the West kept imposing a lot of different shit. When you actually look at the fact that it was actually really well run, there was no problems with like crowds or what whatsoever. You compare this to the Champions League finals in uh, July or June, where it was held in Paris and they were crushing and there was like problems with all the fans. And there was like drunk hooliganism. Because no yeah. alcohol is allowed. Women actually really came out and said, this was the safest I've ever felt going to a football match. Mm. And there were kids all like proper. It was fine because there was no drunkenness. Yeah, and the West <laughs> gave Qatar so much shit leading up to it. And then when it's a perfect, it was a really yeah. well done event. No one said anything about it. Yeah, yeah. and shout out to the design of the, the stadium. Hey, but the amount nice. of people that died is making that stadium though. That's okay, shout out to those people yeah. too. And that's why they're really not guilty free. <laughs> la. like, no, as in like when players are not playing well, then there are like news that comes out to say that oh it's because like the weather there is too hot like these players are not used to playing in such hot weather in December that kind of stuff then it's like what the heck like people die of heat stroke building your stadiums yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. so <laughs> since we have ladies on the panel uh, um, how do you all feel about the fact that right, a lot of these sporting events right cameramen right are actually directed and told right to intentionally point their cameras at like chill booths I try to look out for that yeah, but all the I people I also want like, to see <laughs> yeah. everybody wins see no, because people are scared right. people are scared because like Qatar they don't know the laws can I be super liberal or not. Most yeah. World Cups, right? They always, specifically like, so the Croatians will always have a set of girls, man. Right? Then the Dutch. Set of girls? What yeah. Mean? Like last time was Sophia. The same amount. The, the same girls. Yeah. The sweets. Oh my God. The, the, the Swedish. <laughs> <Why> always <laughs> sweet. In fact, it was only at the finals that you see people Topless. dress up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. in like a party manner. Yeah. Before that, like the first few matches, I mean, I didn't watch the full match clearly. But mm. when you watch the crowd, right, it looks like everybody is dressed hyper conservatively. Oh, but there was that Miss Croatia though, like uh, Miss World Croatia or something. She said that if Croatia wins the World Cup, she will go, go completely nude. nude. Yeah. Why? So that was why. <laughs> so a lot of people were supporting Croatia. <laughs> 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 but like I mean on the note of like how the whole country is behind them like I wonder whether if Singapore actually made it this far makes it this far ever right like in the World Cup I feel like we will all also be so excited you know what I mean I think I will cry yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Scott, I, I think I will fly fly to Qatar and to watch them now play. you can yeah. understand even yeah. though I don't know anything about so uh, football nice. football. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Football. 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 football football but for us it's like that but Argentina makes it there like all the time eh I agree with what you're saying because like if you look at Croatia, right, they, they finished third, uh -huh. which is like, oh, you never win anything. Right? They went back to Croatia and it was a massive celebration. Yeah. It's so crazy. I would Even imagine like the same South, for Morocco. So. Yeah, for Morocco. South Korea also, they got out in like, I think the group stages. Yeah. But such a celebration because it's like, wow, you made it through to the knockout Senegal stages. Senegal also, Wait, I think. Singapore, so... We didn't even qualify. So that means there is a game that they have to play la, there to is, qualify. Yeah. So it takes about two years. Two okay. years to qualify where you play against Asian teams first. Right. Then the top two or top three of different groups will then make it to another round and then you knock out each other and then like three or four teams from Asia go. Also, we did try. Yeah, yes. we always try. But first you got to get out of the Southeast Asian group yeah. stage and then you go through another, there's like four rounds. La, right, right. And, and so hard. that's why usually from Asia it's always like Japan. Japan, yeah. Korea, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Right. No, yeah. that time Joseph yeah. schooling win, right? I really cry. Eh. Mm. When I what? watch the replay, I cry while he sing the national anthem. I just yeah. cry, cry. I'm not even Singaporean, I, I also cry. I just feel like I suddenly mm. like imagine I Joseph schooling and how proud <laughs> I was be, right? I really like ball at home and I like, yeah, like that. And you never thought of before that as well. Okay, so Joseph Schooling also leads me into my list of um, influencer dramas. Ooh, Drama. this year, this year. It's in no particular order, but number one is based on the order that I typed it out. Nice. <laughs> the only order that matters. Yes, yeah. yeah. 
Rachel Wong. Oh, what did you learn from the experience? We had guys? a whole like mind map. Think before you marry. Yeah, Ooh. very much so. Sia she has given us good um advice on think before you marry. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what she said, there's something you don't like about someone when you get married to a person, you're gonna really hate it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the advice. And if there's something you like, you will still become annoyed. So you better make sure you have a lot of like, like enough to last you. This is not about this not about them. <laughs> what, what else is on the list? Next on the list is uh, Titus Low and Dikosh who have gone to jail this year. Right. Titus is now out. I saw that he filmed a review. Titus Low of review. his no of his experience in in prison. <laughs> he did. Oh wow! You know what's yeah, the hate? So interesting. I just hope he was more descriptive. But yeah. wait, wait, what, what, what did he say? Like he just said, "Oh, I eat rice, a little bit oh, meat, not yeah. enough protein." Imagine it was like a vlog with like B-rolls, establishing shot. Oh. <laughs> wow, he tell the, he the warden, "Wait, can we walk again? Yeah, yeah. But can you, you in front you... of me this time." <laughs> Stable, that's, stable. That's maximum security. Wait, wait, do they need to shave their head when they go in? He don't need because it's a no. shot. Uh, yeah, so oh. someone asked him on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a term. I think like one in a month they start shaving. So then somebody asked what Dikosh bought and said, yeah, Dikosh was bought and he laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Dikosh, Dikosh, you promised to come back when you're out. Hey, I cannot yeah. imagine Dikosh okay. balls. Yeah. Why are prison so nice one? Ah? Don't need to shave. Prison is about rehab. What? Che, this episode is positive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main one. I think ones. there's a lot of cheating drama <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah. On net TikTok. from the Chai guys. Yeah. I feel like drama has always such existed. A, yeah, and it's also something that is like, like you look at our, like I was scrolling through our our videos for these years, right? All the drama, drama one, right? Wow, a lot of clicks, yeah. Yeah. It's People like Singaporean love. really capable, like f okay. No, because <laughs> this year I think it was also the rise of TikTok and the rise of TikTok. Like I think one strike that us as a company under the banner of Mail Singapore MOG made was that we made micro documentaries about an individual. And I think this year we saw the next leap of people taking control of making micro documentaries about themselves. Mm. And usually the biggest thing that goes through their site is a, a relationship or betrayal. Mm. Yeah, and I think this year we really saw the full democratization of content. Right. Interesting year. Democratization. Very well, nice. I was very Seek. surprised I would say it. Yeah, <laughs> it was very eloquent. You were like, <laughs> Peter Jury. Yeah, huh? yeah, Peter, is that you? <laughs> Where did John go? <laughs> Anyway, I will have some. I I realized that I need to add someone to this list of the dramas. Oh no! Is it one of us? Jay Chow. Oh. Were you there? Was anybody there? So Diana's cousin went for his concert, and then after that, when I asked uh, her mom, like, "Hey, how come the cousin like never come back today?" Then after that, her mom said, "Right, uh, she went for the JJ Chow concert." Yeah. <laughs> like, then I think that. Right, <laughs> I think that. Right, JJ Chow. I don't know which one it is. But yeah, turns out it's Jay Chow and he was shit apparently. <gasps> to quote this angry fan, I might as well listen to the CD. Wow, CD no, is not Spotify. Like, you don't CD. go to concert to listen to something that's clearer no, than the CD. But it right? was not about his, his singing the proof. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, that was no. also that, but that was not why people were upset, right? Yeah. Is that, he, upset? Is that he never even sing like half the songs. No, because there like, were five other guests or four other guests that he sing with. Oh. So it's like other people's voices or so. Then they can't really hear But they sing his song. I, I think, think together so, with la. him. Yeah. Right. But the audio is like damn bad. Then after all their light sticks are like broken, that kind. So no, overall, apparently how... the apparently the, the stuff right that they give them right, is from like a recycled. Yeah. 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 Oh but it's free what? It's free. You know how much you pay for the concert? But could oh. could it be the organ? Uh, it's obviously the organizers lah because like concerts you have the organizer who is not attached to Jay Chou and so like they invite him to come down but then they settle all the different things Jay yeah. Chou basically says I need this I need this I need this so then they are the ones that settle the sound all the riders all the free shit and all that Yeah. and so Aww. technically it's on them you know, but he tagged his name on it ma, so Aww. in a and sense he it, had to approve as like. yeah. he aged right he starts to look like he's look alike on towing <laughs> You know what oh I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> yes. As in the sound system itself was also very bad. Mm. And right. then, you know, like, not just guest singers. There was also even magic shows. Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh but he nice. always do that, right? He I always love do magic that shows. Yeah, no, so, like, I, I was asking my, my relative, right? And back in the day, right? His concerts are like next level. Yeah. They have like some spaceship flying from the back. Then he wow. suddenly got hologram and he appear there. That kind yeah, of shit. Yeah, then yeah. It's like they go there for the full experience. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the expectation, the bar is already here. Uh. Mm. Then now, right. like... Uh, Maybe after and COVID. Eric Cho put out a very stellar performance when he came to Singapore. Oh yeah, so, I heard. Yeah. But I feel like from memory, this is not the first time people have complained about a J. Cho concert. Because I think maybe he came like two years ago or three years ago and it was the same complaint. Right. Do you all know his origin story? Oh, let's hear I it. I don't. No. So I think he... he he was working part time as a smaller role, um, and then he he in in this company where Jackie Wu works. You know who Jackie Wu? Familiar. Wu Zhongxian. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh. oh. The, the yeah, famous host. If I show you his face, you will know one because he's like he's like the face of variety television. Right. He, he sing the Juliet <laughs> song. 
Oh, sorry. I don't know that far. I only know the huh? story. Oh my god. No, you really know. I... You legit know. He plays some game shows. Yeah, like, so Mao Mao, my favourites, yeah. All, not some. <laughs> He was all the games <laughs> yeah. in the country. He's what? the UJ Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and the story goes like... Oh like, my god, I hear it. Jackie, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Is it? Yeah. 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 That's what my grandmother would watch. And, and so I think it's something about uh, like... Right, he told him if you one day write one song for X amount of days and then you get one good one, you send me that one, something like that. And um, then it's really? such a terrible song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's all wrong. Yeah, it's all. And anyway, it's any and uh, any. I forgot already. <laughs> This oh, like okay, okay, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amazing origin story. <laughs> it was quite interesting because he didn't think. Um, J Cho make he he struck J Cho off many many times. Oh. Yeah, until the one time they gave him a shot, he became a star, he became more famous than Jackie. Wu. What J. was that song that popped off? I wonder. But he's also an actor. Huh? He was in Curse of the Golden mm. Flower. <laughs> the other thing that recently happened, which has gotten the whole of Singapore enraged, including myself, oh. whole of Singapore is, oh. is the cat thrower. The oh. little boy cat thrower down the twenty second floor. <laughs> that was a boo. boo. Yeah. Major boo. Everybody know what happened, right? Actually, yes. Is there more to the story besides the cat? You don't know what happened. One thing is the before that, right? I like, mean, I, I didn't click into the article. You it was just men trolls. Okay, and listen, no, no men. Down, so, yeah. so basically, right, there was a CCTV <laughs> at the HDB leaf lobby that shows a boy walking up to a cat, looking around, uh, pick up the cat, look around, look around, then just throw off the building. Eh. Then right. after he throw it, he's continued to look. So he's... He clearly knows what he's doing. And he, Ishla, he, he, right? he lured the cat up yeah. to the yeah. second story. So that's what yeah. I remember. Yeah. I remember yeah. that he lured the cat. Yes, yes, which yes. Is yeah. And also, apparently, this is not the first time <gasps> that yeah. he abused cat or maybe even throw off the building or whatever. So, how did he so, get caught? Uh? So, the cat is. is the CCTV. CCTV. Uh, actually, I don't know how they, 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 they find out and check. But I think yeah. maybe because they found the cat downstairs. And right. So, the cat is actually a community cat yeah. that has been there for like 10 years already. It's right. called Panther. Yeah. All right, Panther. Panther. And there yeah. were people in the community that were specifically taking care of the cat, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Like Panther cat. Damn scary. So, then the whole internet enraged, right? Then everybody start to manhunt a little, boy hunt a little bit or so. <laughs> then people blaming, like, say, the parents. Parents, what, what is their fault or whatever? Don't blame the child. Questioning whether he's mentally stable Don't or not. Don't blame yeah. the child. Yeah. Then after that, one auntie, I think she, well, she's one of the people that take care of the cat. Go and found him. I think. Yeah, he filmed. Looking near another fucking cat. Eh. Yeah. Then she go and question, who are you, boy? What are you doing here? Huh? What are you? Why? What, what you want to do with this cat? That kind of thing. She was filming. Ah. Uh, yeah. Do you know who did it? Like she was asking who. Like, like the, sarcastically. Know, la, the, sarcastically. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Then after that, I think the most recent thing is that the boy or at least the family or whoever's with the boy has released a statement then the boy said that like the reason why he did it was because he didn't receive love or some shit from his family lah which is oh. like uh, please I la. call bullshit yeah oh wait how is it 10 and years the parents old? having reasons I think so, I think. Yeah, yeah the parents the father be like why don't you just say I didn't love yeah, you just blame me lah <laughs> just blame me lah <laughs> well, I really f***ing angry yeah. when we first heard of the news right I was in the office well, then I start raging that rage, I start thinking like, oh, if I can find this boy, right, what would I do to him? Yeah? You True, know, yeah. like I would catch him, then I'll tie him up, then I'll slowly break his fingers one by one. Then I will... A hmm. balloon is about to drop, If he's your son? If he's my son, I will catch him, I will tie him up, I will break his fingers one by one. Same thing. <laughs> wow, you really thought this news, yeah? It's like psychotic, eh? Okay, so the thing that I question, right, is that I personally feel that human life and animal life, right, is very close to each other. You know what I mean? Like, the value of it. Like, oh. and this kid is literally a murderer, eh? mm. Yeah, it, like, like I, I think he deserves, like, some form of punishment or whatever. Like. I really feel like the boy don't feel anything when he just throw the cat. Because he just like that, right? Then he just like that. No, but he has to feel some positive feeling to want to keep doing it though. Because if he's indifferent to it, then he wouldn't do it again. So it means he Maybe might he's very curious about death, ma. Yeah, I think it's a matter of Maybe he's science too. experiment like, like five floor, ten floor. There are, there are research, right, where where scientists just all pick up cats, right? Raise it like a few me- like a one meter or half a meter above, upside down. And just drop it and figure out how come they always land on their feet. Right, so maybe yeah. he watched it was a, a YouTube trend video. Yeah. I think that one, yeah, you have intention and it's a controlled experiment, right? Yeah. There are boundaries and parameters set. Like somebody did mention whether it's out of curiosity. But they mm. say that the way he behaves, his mannerisms, show that he knows that what he's doing is wrong. Right. 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 That he was checking yeah. to see whether anyone right. caught. Yeah. I still yeah. hate the boy though. But I'm a bit caught in between because he's still a child. Yeah, so but he's not also a child. Him, Huh? There are people that are they are evil in this world. Mm. And we need to deal with these motherfuckers. No, we like, cannot I treat want... them like 
But we can't make him go jail. Uh. Can he actually be punished? Like based on law, he cannot cause he's too young, right? Probably. But I don't think he'll now, like, You let him grow up, then after that, right, he go and murder somebody. He has to be treated differently. Or like whatever to- that might look like, right? Special care or whatever, right? But he needs to be treated differently. He, he needs to be punished. La. No, not just punished, but even the way we monitor him. Right? I mean, I don't know what his parents are doing, la, right? But something needs to be done. Like say we let him go to like some kind of like juvenile jail or whatever kind of shit for like a while. Mm-hmm. Then after that, he just continues let back out into society and lead a normal life, right? Is the answer not like mental health though? Like, maybe like therapy. Like, yeah. like, psych- like psychiatry. And maybe they figure out and realize, okay, there's a way to treat this. There's a specific condition. And now after five years of that therapy or whatever, then okay, you are free man to go. And then we've now ma- been able to rehab a supposed evil person. I don't know. I, I look at like all the serial killer stories and I mean now everybody know or serial killers are like milk for like entertainment, right? Yeah. But like you listen to their stories and their backstories and how their life played out, right? From early to late stage to the, when they commit all those killings and that kind of thing, right? Some of them is like they don't have the same kind of conscience that yeah. we have one. The wire differently. Now. Yeah. And I don't blame them, you know. But these people cannot exist in the society where we already agreed to live by certain rules and they just cannot function within those rules. Ah. This is such a refreshing character that you're playing now. It's just oh, is it? Okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Like I will feast him. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you feel like that guy that is just saying that but this rules-based thing is just conforming to majority and is a construct. It feels like those are the things that you will say. I also think it could be totally overthinking it. It could be his friends just tell him when cats have nine life. Yeah. Or maybe a book told him cat got nine life and his friend tell him no. And he's like, really I will okay. prove it. Mm. That's also not the first time he has done it though. Right. Like he's yeah. a repeat offender. Maybe he thought that that first cat... Maybe the first cat survived. And he, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean like back to the topic, right? I'm a bit Thanks. torn between like who... <laughs> Like, who's actually culpable? Like, how much responsibility does the parents actually take in this? Like, how much can I know about what my child is doing outside? Like, say, when they go to school or on their way back from school, that kind of thing. They will not exhibit that behaviour in front of me. Ma. And I also wonder, like, do parents realise that they are a bad parent? Mm. You know what I mean? Or, like, to them, it's like, this is me doing my best. But then somehow my kid, like, struggling with something. And then my kid also won't tell me, ma. Then I just continue to, like, but, continue but, to make errors. Yeah, but at the same time, don't you also think that, like, why are you trying to find reasons or excuses for this person? Because it's not just punished, like, as in everything need to see why. If not, you don't treat the root cause, right? This is going to happen again, right? Yeah, like, do you feel like, because you say people are inherently evil, right? But do you think that they are nurtured to be like that or it's nature? Like, they are born like that and no matter how good the parents are, they are going to be evil no matter what. Oh, it's a mix. Yeah, I think it's a mix. There was this document, very famous documentary about a Japanese cannibal mm. who committed a murder and, and cannibalism in, I think, Europe or America or something like that. But because of some kind of weird law, right? When Extradition he moved back to, law. Yeah, when he moved back to Japan, right, then he just basically was a free man. Oh. So then after that, then I think Vice did a documentary on him. Like, without remorse at all and with a, that, that, a very weird look in his eyes, right? He was talking about how, like, it's a way for him to feel closer to the somebody that he's attracted to or wants mm. and, the, and that there's that desire right, right. and he cannot help it mm. and to him right what he really wants right is like he wished that he could oh. have eaten the person while the person was still alive yeah and he hopes that he can do it in his lifetime something like that that sounds like a very extreme version of like you know for example when you see something that's very cute you want to like kind of squish it right or like if I you're you. pa- yeah your <laughs> that's part- a cute, oh. cute skit, okay. <laughs> like your partner very cute then you kind of feel like, like biting them that kind of stuff or right? like baby then- some people like bite babies the really time <laughs> Baby's time. No, you know when Chinese New Year, then you, the baby come on and everybody, ah, then they were like, <laughs> <laughs> and the baby time, oh, like, the oh, 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 they like, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Don't do that, by the way. There's so much bacteria in your mouth. Like, get your mouth away. But from yeah, it's baby. because like some receptor in your brain or whatever, right? Like links like cute and like attraction with aggression. So I feel like that is a very like extreme form of that. Right. I, I remember there was a case in Singapore. I don't remember the full details, right? But I think it's a guy he kicked a cat or he kicked a dog or something like that. Yeah. And then it was like caught on video. And then the public found out they hounded him. And for some reason his face was very, very clear in the video, and people started doxing him and his address, what's his name, where he works. And then at some point he also lost his job. And then he came out to apologize. Jai's law, he said that he had a terrible day. He, he, he know he shouldn't have done it, but he was venting and the dog came or the cat came and he kicked, right? And then he broke down. I think it was on camera or it was described in the report that he was crying. And then he said that every day now he walk around, people shout at him and they want to kill him. And he said that he don't know how he live his life until his life is not worth an animal's life. Mm. And then that, that just, that, that kind of struck a chord with me that there are, there are things that we are passionate about that we feel, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? To say, hey, animal abusers, you know, f- them. 
But then there's also, if this person was your dad, if this person was your colleague, that you can ask the backstory of, right? And just try and figure out. And that person can say, look, I know what I did was wrong, but do I deserve to die or not? You know, like like thousands of people calling for my death now. I just thought that we should exercise empathy in the new year. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy new year! What else happened this year? The queen died. The, oh. the queen died. Yeah, actually, I oh. don't I don't really know much about her. I didn't really care until yes. I watched The Crown. Your queen. Then I was super emotionally invested there. You know, she took over The Crown when she was like in her Teenage. early 20s. Oh, yeah, she was very young. Like the stress. Eh? Then she do until she's like 90. What? She's 90? the longest reigning monarch, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. there was a conspiracy about how they... There was a period of time when her health was really, really uncertain and then mm. like people were speculating, hey, she hasn't shown up for like this event for the first time in her life. Is it actually she's dead? But then because they, she haven't hit the silver jubilee, which is the 70-year mark, right? Then they don't want people to make 69 jokes. Oh. So they try to keep her death a secret. Right. Up until 17. But I mean, in the end, it came out that like, she didn't die. Lah. Right. She showed up, right? Yeah, I she showed up for her seventh year. Oh, I don't really know. don't know much about. Her. The only thing I know is that she liked photography. Then she got a lot of very cool, like. Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Something you But you know, she's not supposed to actually have the crown. So it's because her father, right? <laughs> yeah. Her father's brother, who's actually the king, mm. loved this mm. other mm. woman, and then decide to like a commoner bye woman. bye crown to marry the woman because he cannot marry that woman. It's actually in the movie, the king's speech. That was his. Yeah. That was her father. So Great her movie. father had to take over, and then. That changed the entire history, you know, after that. Right. Also, oh, the, the, the future yeah. at that German time. Descent. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah. That's which why they actually had to change their name to Windsor because their previous name was Damn German. Oh, I was hoping yeah. you were going to say you were so convicted. Oh, which is the fun fact that like when people go and see the, the palace, right? Yeah. They're not actually going to see the actual palace, right? Oh. There's two. One is like the, Buckingham. They go to Buckingham, which is not where Buckingham. they actually live. But recently, the Harry and Meghan also have so much controversy. Oh, yeah. oh their original name was Sexy, Sexy, Sexy Coburg. Wow. Ooh, great. Sodomy. But so, it was a German name, lah. So I might like, have gotten it wrong. Yeah, it sounds like. It. No, but after they released the Harry and Meghan documentary, then I saw Beyonce support Meghan. <gasps> huh? Beyonce said like. Beyonce, your idol, yeah. But she's the the yeah. queen also. Oh, probably intuitive. Queen Bee, Queen Bee. She but she like, seems she, so toxic, oh. I mean, Like, I don't she know why. Is, no, she makes fun of the bowing. Like, the yeah. person she did it, then oh, she the curtsy, the curtsy. reiterated, like, her experience. Then she said she had to curtsy. Then she did this. Then ha- Harry was like, like, like No, this. you know what's right. weird? It wasn't just the curtsy. It was the side eye after that. Yeah. She did this damn evil side eye. <laughs> yeah, she right. looked like, oh, what's this stupid tradition? Like but I was so excited for her when they got married. Yeah, you know? it was like a princess. Suit. And she's so great there. And then yeah. you know, I love Princess Diaries. Then it's like, oh my God, this is like set up. I hate Megan in suits. Do you all know Princess Diaries 3 is happening? <laughs> with Anne Hathaway? They which bring what? everybody Again? back. What? what? Yeah. Is yeah. the queen? Wow. Sick. I don't know. Genovia. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> a land I call my own. Oh, I yeah, love it. So. Oh my god, I also love it. You know, like, until now, the makeover scene, right, is still, like, in my head, like, rent yeah. free. Yeah. yeah. I can still see the, the yeah, pictures right. and yeah. that. Yeah. And now? Uh, oh. Stand Anne Hathaway. And then, and then the one where she teach her how to wave. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Just slightly, yeah. just scoop. Mia Thermopolis. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you know that they exposed the Harry and Meghan documentary. Like there was a TikTok compilation, right? Showing how a lot of the photos that they misconstrued to be like the downside of the royal life. Right? Like, oh my God, the paparazzi after yeah. me, that kind of stuff. Was taken from like out of context photos and they all pieced together into this documentary. Uh, yeah. And they, pay, they are paid a lot for this. Like millions. Because so they need to earn some money somehow. Like, there's also like a selling photo out. I think that went viral this year or uh, last year of Prince William doing this outside the car. So, <laughs> oh! Outside the turn, he was, he was just saying whether it's yeah. like oh, tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Like, <laughs> I, have, I have this. I have this. <laughs> when you turn this way. <laughs> <laughs> no! I feel like you practice this at home, sir. No, we... <laughs> Crazy story. So, like... <laughs> you set up the... No, no. Oh. If we all... <laughs> So like we all know that the Malaysian elections happen. Like, yes. I went to vote. Hey, hey uh, outcome. Still can tell from your finger. Oh yeah, that's massive news. Uh, the Malaysian politics stuff. It is. It is. Mm. But I think a lot of people would have like kind of followed news. If you cared about it, you would have followed it. If not, Anwar finally became prime minister after like 20 odd years. Um, well done. And then there's an unholy alliance between Pakatan Harapan and their nemesis, Barisan National, to mm? form the government. Oh of yes, Hang Parliament. The, together. All that happened. That's not the crazy thing that happened, okay? So just like two, three days ago, as of filming, right? The leader of the opposition, this guy named Hamza, right? Basically goes to parliament and he starts 
the famous Malaysian shouting match in parliament again by basically saying he reported an Italian news article that called Anwar Malaysia's first full-blown homosexual prime minister. What? Oh my god. And then everyone just started shouting and then it just was a... Huh? Yeah. He's, he is? No, 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 but because no, he was <laughs> like, we don't know, yeah. but he was basically because he was accused of like sodomy and things like that. Right. And he, he, went was, he, was, sodomy, he went to jail. He went to jail for sodomy. Huh? What sodomy? Oh. Anal sex. Penis oh. inside. Oh, like, so that is true. <laughs> no. No, as in he was charged for it, but he obviously he claims that it's uh, m- politically uh, motivated. Uh, so, like, he was just How much? He wants to work as a political opponent here. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> cannot verify. The funniest oh. thing was that the, the second time that he was accused, right, the aide the aid who happened to be the victim allegedly was like 20 something and he's a 60 year old man. And so he said in Malay, right, like, I'm 60 years old, the guy is 28. I don't know where this accent come from, okay? This I'm 60 years old, this guy is 28. Who raped who? Yeah. And everyone just like, was like, <laughs> oh, hmm, that's fair enough. Yeah. So. <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, he uh, so someone actually just said full-blown homosexual in Malaysian parliament, started a shouting match. Oh wow. my god. Apparently, right, like Singapore, like government used to be like that. So like, it's a lot more like passionate. Now yeah. it's like, need to- s- And aggressive. Oh, 377A. Oh, we forgot to mention that. Congratulations. <laughs> Plus the marriage other thing. Mm. <laughs> We've spoken about this in other episodes, so visit Just those episodes. We want to mention it because it was a momentous it thing. Was, it was. It really and, is. and also there's an amendment to the constitution, guys, with the same note. Please go and read there as so. well. Yeah. yeah. Are you able to explain how amendments to constitutions affect us? Not well, I can attempt. <laughs> <laughs> if, is it gonna be equivalent to how J. Cho like origin story? Uh, <laughs> I yes, would love to revisit this. <laughs> <laughs> if yes, then you don't try. Oh dear. Yes. <laughs> no, so if if I'm not wrong, right? Attempt one. Constitution is the physics of the game. You cannot break this. Laws are the rules of the game, which we can say we can add new rule. I'm looking forward to at least a summary of this. <laughs> Constitution is This is the TikTok the physics of the game. Physics. Yeah. Mm. It's the limits of the game. But mm. rules are But then there are amendments the game, la, so you know. But that's how they see Everything la. can change. Yeah. They change the rule of the game. No, then the rules of the game are laws, which you can always add on as the game adapts more and more player. We're like, okay, from now everybody can only draw two cards. Because mm. the deck not big enough, for example, mm. right? Yeah. 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 Thank you for watching today's episode and spending the end of the year with us. <laughs> nice. If you're wondering where is this giveaway that we've been talking about, psych. <laughs> it's right here. Surprise. Okay. Yeah. So we are going to be picking the winner in 24 hours. Okay. Time is running out. Okay. Follow also, the- also, this is your last chance last, to be able to subscribe chance. to the Daily Catch Up channel in 2022. Wait. So Wait. follow these instructions. Poo. And I hope you win. All the best, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell like the New Year bell. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you in 2023. Bye. <laughs>